Hey, I'm Renee, this is Movie Juice, and get excited because of Robin Hood. You know, I've been keen to see these two Oscar winners get it together in a movie, now they have. Russell Crowe as Robin Hood tears up Sherwood Forest with Kate Blanchett as Maid Marian. So who's running the show? Director Ridley Scott is in the saddle, and he's the guy who directed Russell to an Oscar in Gladiator. We all pretty much know the Robin Hood rap sheet and story, so let's talk about Mark Strong, the guy playing that gorgeous villain, the Sheriff of Nottingham. He's the same actor who kicked ass in Kick-Ass. This sheriff would have no trouble getting his pound of flesh out of me. Suppose we better look at Russell first though, huh? Stop, stop the horses. You there, move aside. We're on church business. <laughs> None shall pass unless they can answer the riddle. Moon mad. <laughs> and what is the riddle, you insolent wretch? What has 18 legs and isn't going anywhere? <laughs> your next move will be your last. Good evening, friend. I demand to know who you are! We are men of the hood. <laughs> Mary, now at your expense. You know when you play games when you're a kid, you know, and you think because you've got the ice cream bucket upturned on your head and you've got a broomstick in your hand that you are, in fact, a soldier in the Second World War, you know? This is the sort of thing where you, you get the exact right costume. You don't have to use the broomstick. I had a scene where I had to literally ride in, burn a village and ride out. And, uh, you know, people pay good money to do that in real life, I would think. I mean, it was literally, that's what I did. I, I galloped into this fantastic looking village. There were hundreds of soldiers around. I screamed a few orders, burnt a few houses and then galloped off into the distance. And uh, it's exhilarating working, you know, in sets that you totally believe in. My first day on set, I was, I, I found it breathtaking. It was sort of like, you know, being one of those little people in Gulliver's Travels, I suddenly woken up and found myself in a, in a, you know, in a completely other world. And you know, the, the, the working water wheel and the, the chapel, I mean, it's, it really does make you know, my job very easy. For the time being, refer to me as Sir Robert, I'll explain later. My uh, men at arms, this is about as courtly as they get. Alan Adele, Will Scarlet, and Little John. Lady Marion. I trust you had an historic evening. The Russell's very masculine and very competitive and kind of athletic and um, and and also probably one of the best two or three actors around today. You know, so I changed the artist, but I liken him to working with a great painter. You know, most often I say Titian because he is bold and, and, and works on a large scale and works with such incredible depth. And I've made five movies with him. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, my job is to hold the paint. And, you know, if he wants more blue, I do my best to try and give him more blue. A king does not bargain for the loyalty that every subject owes him. Without loyalty, there is no kingdom. There is nothing. I'm here to speak for Sir Walter Loxley. Speak, if you must. If you're trying to build for the future, you must set your foundation strong. The laws of this land enslave people to its king. A king who demands loyalty but offers nothing in return. You build a country like you build a cathedral from the ground up. Empower every man, and you will gain strength. Rise and rise again, until lambs become lions.